Finally, it's back. Today I'll show you how you can enable displacement in Unreal Engine 5.3 and how to use it with your materials. Let's get started. So here we are with the result. We have displacement on the right and our normal sphere on the left. But how can you achieve this? Well, let me show you. So first of all, we need to make sure our test environment or our project we want to use is in 5.3. I tried it with a copy of a 5.2 project that didn't work. I needed to create a new test and that's the one I just made. But before we can do anything in Unreal Engine, we need to enable the displacement in the engine itself. And for that, we need a default engine.ini. So that's your any file where everything for the project is being saved. Where can you find this? Well, it's normally in your project folder where you save your project. So most of the time you have your test folder or whatever you call your project. And under config, you have all your INI files. Then you just open the default engine. And in default engine, you go down to rendering. So here we have the rendering settings. I just added a low tessellation and set it to one. I put all the comments down below so you just need to copy paste it. Then you save it and restart Unreal Engine. So in Unreal Engine you can add a sphere under shapes and the sphere. It's not the best one. I would create something in Blender or Maya, give it more tessellation and export it into Unreal. So right now we still need to enable the tessellation in Unreal. For that we go under window, output lock and I already have it here. My output lock or the CMD. And in the CMD or the output lock you put this command nanite tessellation 1. So then it's enabling nanite. If I switch that to 0, with 0 everything is gone. Let me re-enable it and it's back. So enter this command. This one will also be below the video. You just need to copy paste it. And then if we go in our content browser or let me grab the material from the sphere. It's really straightforward. You have your um, base color, your normal, and this is a quixel bridge texture. So red is M in inclusion, green is roughness, and the blue channel, if we open the texture, the blue channel is the displacement. So that's the displacement map, height map, whatever you want to call it. So that one goes in the new displacement slot. That one wasn't there before. Now we need to go into the material and you need to look a little bit carefully under nanite is a displacement tab you can open. Here you enter the value you have. So 10 looks about like this. If we change this to, I don't know, maybe 30 and apply the material, it's a little bit all over the place. So 10 was a pretty good value then, I guess. And that's everything. So in theory, you could also apply this to a landscape. I didn't test that yet, so don't mark my words on this one. But yeah, it looks like it's back. Not officially, you still need to enable it, but good times. And if you want to know how to create a nice looking terrain like this in the background, you really should check out this video here.